you remember the Library of Alexandria? I was there. Perfect. <laughs> You're the one that burned it down. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So, Mea culpa. Yeah. <laughs> the, the context of that is all of what was known to human civilization at that time was collected in one spot. Great. It's an explicit collection of humanity that was lost. Now, we have been afforded the opportunity to sustain a record of information on human beings like we've never done before with great efficiency. It's a beautiful tool. The question is, what do you choose to record and when recorded, how do you use that recording? Now with Tartal, we saw a definite need to fix the power imbalance between those who were creating the data and those who were using it. And then inextricably, there is always a value tied to it because as you discussed much, much earlier, the socioeconomic, mainly economic, values around the data were only well seen by corporate entities. So in order to weigh into that, you have to show people what the value of that is and something where they understand. They understand transactions. They understand making something, treating it as an asset, and then trading it to receive something in return. Very well understood by human beings. That's stage one for the system. And again, it's built in with that permission consent, which you're talking about. This was another one of those elements. Now, when it comes to self-reflection of human beings, what we've started to do over the past seven years is that the vaults which people are building of these millions and millions and millions of data points is creating a personal record on themselves, which they can create with little effort. And what it's doing is it's recording the actions, behaviors, and thoughts of these human beings. Now, what I have seen is that as the artificial intelligence or these models have been advancing, they've been advancing in aggregate, which is which is fine, but they're stalling because they haven't taken on the individual vaults of people's recorded knowledge of themselves and actually used it for a greater good. Now, before that can happen, this mechanism of Tartle will act as a mirror for human beings to understand what has been going on with them. Now, they will be able to set the limitations of what they want to be told or suggested of actions to take from the information they've created. And we have the computational power for people to run this at their homes and understand that if I'm going to make this choice, I can weigh it against everything historically that I've done, or my family has done, or people like me that have done and help guide me in my decision making. But it will never trample on the free will of that human being and their ability to make choices. It will not manipulate or force them. It will only let them know that within the limitations specified by them, here is the best course of action for your evolution as a human being, as dictated by the record which you have created. One 